guys, it's Samantha. I just wanted to take you guys on a little tour of my boutique. And for those of you who are interested in opening up your own store, I have a few pointers. So come on in and let's take a look. Hey guys, so this is my store, Samantha's Consignment Boutique. And in here we carry everything from um, designer label clothing, accessories, shoes, handbags, um, everything from the Gap to Chanel. So I love it. It's very thrown together. It's very quirky, kind of like me. Um, but yeah, come take a look. So we try to keep it um, organized in, in, in ways of colors like black and white and you know reds and pinks, but that never happen. By the time the day is over, everything is a little bit spread through. But we usually keep dresses. Right now, it's our spring and summer season, so you'll see a lot of dresses and vintage items. And like I said, we carry everything from the Gap to Chanel, Banana Republic. And you know, we try to keep it a little trendy still. Um, anything you would find in the store, in regular stores, you'll find in here. And my favorite section over here is where we carry our designer labels all real um, Louis Vuitton I think there's a Chanel hiding somewhere um, vintage bags and our plus sizes we do cater to the extra sexy ladies size 12s and up we actually carry everything in the store from size 0 to about 22 23 um, we definitely love vintage items and a lot of our items are from the 50s also the 40s and 50s we love vintage anything vintage you'll find here but like I said we also carry um, pretty much everything from the Gap to Chanel also so the store is very quirky you know there's lamps and sh next to I guess cowboy boots and bags and Tiffany and company, you know, frames and just different stuff like that. And after a while, most of our items, please excuse the mess of the store, goes down to $5. So after 90 days, unless it's like Louis Vuitton or anything like that, they go down to $5 and then we donate it. Um, right now we donate, we donate to the Village Church of Bayville, so it's a good cause. And yeah, so this is pretty much my entire store. Very small, but this is it. Love this bag, Betsy Johnson. Coach items. Sometimes you'll find things for men. Uh, Victorian jewelry from 1804. And we get new items in every day, so it's very eclectic. And this is it. Hey guys, so I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit about the consignment business, how it works, and if it would be a right option for you if you're um, looking to open up a boutique. Um, open the store about, uh, I opened the store about a year ago and I absolutely love it. I initially was not looking to open a consignment store. I actually wanted to open a regular boutique. But after researching and depending on my available funds I found out that actually this would be the best um, decision for me the reason being is that I don't have to ever worry about inventory ever um, actually the last two weeks we stopped taking inventory in because we just have so many people bringing in items every single day that we are actually backtrack um, if you are interested in opening up a boutique I definitely think that you should look into a consignment stores thrift stores or vintage stores um, or antique stores just because you don't ever have to worry about um, inventory um, like for instance every season most boutiques change over from you know winter items to summer items and if you don't sell those you actually lose money with me if it doesn't sell I can either give it back to the owners or donate it um, so it's definitely a win-win situation for everyone. Um, for instance, if um, something sells, like say we sell a Chanel bag, um, half the proceeds goes to us and then the other half goes to the client. If it doesn't sell, the client can either leave it here or pick it up. 
Um, so it's a win-win situation, like I said. Um, to open up the store is very, very simple. All you have to do is find a great location. Glen Cove to me was the perfect location because it's a small town, um, which is something that I wanted to do, um, open up in a small town instead of a big city, town, something like that. So all you have to do is find a great location. Once you find your location, you really only have to get like, you know, a credit card machine or register. You really don't have to, and of course, you know, hangers and, and small things like that, but you don't have to worry about finding inventory. And the way I found my clients is very simple, is just simply by putting out ads um, on Craigslist, Backpage, and just word of mouth, letting people know that, listen, yeah, we are looking for a spring and summer item. Um, the only advertising we do is in the yellow book, and that's it. Um, I'm gonna change that though, but right now it's, it's honestly been working for us. And that's it. Every month we only have to worry about, um, you know, rent, uh, phone bills, just basic utilities. We never have to worry about putting in orders for X amount of items for this month or this week or anything like that. So once again, I really think that the consignment business, especially for someone who's just starting out and may not have the amount of funds necessary to open up a big boutique, um, it's the perfect choice. So. If you guys have any more questions, you can definitely, definitely email me or send me a message or, which is the same thing. <laughs> you guys can email me or leave me a comment and I will definitely get back to you, okay? So thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you guys soon, bye.